The cost of living crisis and tightening financial conditions in most countries have contributed to the global economic downturn. The Russian-Ukrainian conflict and lingering impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated food shortage worldwide, impacting negatively on the global economy. Nigeria is not immune to the global crisis, which has weighed heavily on its service industry, with growth stagnating and unemployment soaring. The report. Nigerian service industry, the backbone of its economy, is struggling. The service sector, which encapsulates wholesale and retail trade, real estate, and information and communication, contributes significantly to the GDP of Nigeria. But the picture painted of the sector by experts is bleak. This expert says the sector has stagnated and has failed to bounce back since the COVID-19 pandemic. In 1990s, service sector contributed less than 30%, but we saw a paradigm shift in 2010 where service sector began to contribute as much as 50%. But since post-COVID, so it has remained stagnant at an average of 54% to GDP. Local businesses are grappling with the existential challenges as inadequate electricity supply and exorbitant transportation costs threaten their viability. Ali Huisa, an entrepreneur who operates a frozen food business, laments that the inadequate electricity is crippling his operations. We are seeing here in Burunkebi, at times we may have a, a clutch of, uh, what do you call it, electricity outrage. At times, maybe when we bought goods like chickens, in a, uh, in a two days time, if we did, couldn't get any access or contact with, uh, what do you call it, light or iced, it may lead them towards to spoiled. Gender and child rights activists are concerned about the devastating impact of the economic downturn on women, stressing that the financial struggles are increasing their vulnerability to domestic abuse, making them more susceptible to exploitation and violence. Example, the high rate of violence we intervene now is increasing um, due to poverty. As far as say, there is an urgent need for the government to intervene and revitalize the country's economy. For now, it seems Nigerian's economic crisis is deepening, which is why the citizens of Kebi are calling for immediate action from the government to address the escalating cost of living. From Birin in Kebi, Cynthia Yongo, reporting for Trust TV.